<laughs> you guys, it's midnight, and I'm sitting here staring at tiny pixel cakes, preparing to play Bon Bon Cakery after months away. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life, but all I know is that I was having a wonderful day today because it was my birthday, and I just had this huge urge to play something with adorable pixel cake that I could share with all of you, and now I'm having fun pretending that all of the little pixel cakes that we've put out are actually things that you guys can come and get, and I'm baking a bunch of birthday cake to share with you, and basically I've lost a little bit of control in my life, but I'm going to have a wonderful time, and welcome all of you back to... Dun dun dun! Bon Bon Cakery, one of the Kairosoft games. I am a sucker for these adorable little pixelated games, especially when they add dashes of tycoon strategy to them as well, not to mention the adorableness of the pixel people and the pixel cooking. So we're diving in to celebrate my birthday. So happy birthday, Siri! Woohoo! We're gonna see if we can manage to sell some delicious foods and maybe even make some brand new sweets. And it's been a long time since I played, so I apologize if I've forgotten some things. I actually love this game so much but there are some ways you can look up in the wikis exactly how you should play to earn max skills and as soon as I do that whenever I look up how to get like the perfect combo or the perfect skills in a game that requires a little bit of luck and strategy I always tend to lose interest <laughs> So, naughty Siri, no more peeking in the wiki, and we're just gonna dive in and try to run our little bakery using common sense, trial and error, and just having a fun time, because that, in the end, is all about what these stories are about. So today, we aren't having a fun time with our finances, because I have actually lost a little bit of money, but we are going to do our best to see what is going to sell well for our shop. We are going to try to make sure that, oh, look at this. So what is craved over here? The velvet red ring the uh, cupcakes are actually craved right now but not the berry fresh ice so let's go ahead and remove that ice cream the entire shelf has been removed that is not what I meant to do um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put down oh can I put down the new shelves Okay, let's put down the fancier shelf. Okay, I'm gonna select this shelf, yay. And we want the popular thing. So anything with the adorable little metal next to it are delicious, delicious things that we have made in the past. And the higher the ranking, the better. So there's donuts, there's the Sakura waffle, the berry fresh ice, the hit silver vanilla ice cream. The velvety red ring seems super popular right now. Let's see if I can find, uh, let's see, is that like chef's choice? Oh, those are the, no, the little metal is the thing that has actually uh, won awards in the past and things that we're currently cooking. So the drizzle choco choco cake uh, is actually up, but the drizzle ch uh, choco drizzle donut is super popular. So let's go ahead and we're going to start making that. <gasps> Look at its deliciousness. I think that it will sell quite well. So let's go ahead and put that there. And then we need to replace what we have in this spot. Uh, it looks like donuts are actually super popular right now. And the drizzle choco cocoa cake is, but it is one of our worst recipes because it has an F grade. So you know what? Why don't, we, uh, why don't we try actually making a brand new recipe instead? So let's go over to Sweets Creation. And so many of you who are new to the adorableness that is Bon Bon Cakery may have no idea what's going on, but basically we're gonna make a delicious cake. And hey, it's my birthday. It's almost midnight on my birthday, so it's almost not my birthday. So we're gonna try to whip together something I think I would really enjoy. I think chocolate does really well in the autumn, but I don't really like chocolate, so we're gonna see what we can work with. All right, you have two different types of plates at the moment. We have the cake plate, which you can put three toppings on top of, and then you have the Japanese plate, a refined Japanese plate that we can put four toppings on top of. So we're gonna go ahead and use that one, and then, let's see, I'm gonna use a sponge cake base this time. <gasps> Look at its deliciousness! And I kind of want to make, even though I, I should focus on like putting down chocolate and other things that would be more popular, I kind of want to make a cake I think would be absolutely amazingly delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and put down, um, let's put down the whipped cream and try that out and see if we get some sort of fancy, fancy combo. Fluffy combo, yay! And then I'm going to try, oh, the triple berry would be so tempting. Apparently if we add the choco extract, something good will happen. The sweet will go way up, but not the texture. As you can see, there are many different attributes of the delicious desserts that you need to think about when you are designing a perfect sweet. And I just noticed how cute the kitchen is in the background. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, my weakness is adorable pixel things. What's happening? Okay, I need to figure out what to put next. Um, I'm pretty sure if I put down the big berry, it's gonna turn into this adorable little cake. And triple berry would be really fun too. Triple berry would add a little bit of sweet. Um, it looks like the sweet would go off the charts if I added the choco extract. So, you know what? I'm gonna add the choco extract and let's see what happens. Dun dun dun! Oh boy, now we're getting kind of interesting. What happens if I put down uh, decor? A whole bunch of them are, are just off the charts again. Uh, what if I put down the choco drizzle? <gasps> it has turned into a donut! Yes, that is kind of what we were going for, you guys. So let's see if we can add in a little bit of texture, maybe? Or just get this thing's sweetness off the charts with another choco extract? Um, I kind of feel like it needs whipped cream or something to cover up the top. But you know what? We've already gone this far in. Let's go with some almonds, because that sounds nice and crunchy on top of this. And you can see the calorie warning. <laughs> All right, we want to choose some staff members to add a little bit of extra flavor or texture or taste or fruits. Let's have Pam boost the chocolate on this. And it's a chocolate. Let's make let me make this even more chocolatey. Dun dun dun. Oh, I love this. I forgot how cute this was. I need to come and become a uh, hidden almond ring. Let's have a tasting session and see how popular it'll be with customers. I'm so nervous. Oh, I forgot how adorable this is. Okay, it's not the greatest. Nobody really likes it, but at least I tried. Yay, it's D-Rank! All right, I think we need to get like better suppliers and that actually has a huge, uh, or like level up our suppliers and that has a huge impact on, ooh, what we can actually do in our little sweet shop. You guys are gonna wanna go check out the previous episodes if you're totally lost, cause there's a lot to catch up on. All right, this year's shop awards are coming up. Which category should we enter? And we're gonna try to enter, let's see, I love my staff. I think they're super awesome. The sweet award, uh, customer satisfaction, and then we've got the overall uh, ingredient level will be judged. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with staff award because I feel like I have a really great staff, but I definitely it was not very high up on the other things. So a hidden almond chocolate ring has been added to the list of things that we can make. So <gasps> look how popular it would be. Our hidden almond ring. We are now a little donut shop or a donut bakery. Look at it go. And we need people to start going ahead and making more donuts in the background there. Oh, and what's this? Honey pumpkin has stopped by. Hello, in honor of your discovering of panna cotta, my new shop now sells the panna cotta set. Feel free to stop by pumping products and buy one. <gasps> Maybe we can make another sweet today, you guys. That would be so exciting. Okay, let's check out pumpkin products and see what they've currently got hiding in there. We could buy a donut set or a shortcake set or a panna cotta set to be able to have sweeter creations. Ooh, that might be really useful. We might need to think about that. Productivity going up would be really helpful for our employees, though. What else can we do? Let's try doing the lucky spin. Um, do I want to do that lucky spin right now? Sell recipes and use the sugar points to win prizes. Uh, I guess I could sell recipes. Yeah, a lot of this is going to be really confusing if you've never seen anything again. But you know what? Let's go ahead and do a lucky spin. It's my birthday. We're going to spin some of our little ticket points. And we're going to see if we can get like a rare fixture for the shop. We're going to see if we can get some medals. I want that rare fixture. No, keep going. Stop, stop, stop. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop, 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 stop. Yes! You guys! We got a rare item! Oh my gosh! I don't think I even have any fixtures yet. That is so awesome! Oh my gosh, yes, I'm ready to exit the lucky spin. Where are my fixtures? Like, item crafting. I can do item crafting now? Here, you can create new items from items you already have. Tap an item to display the material that are required to craft it. Oh my gosh, I can do an e-newsletter to boost the appeal of my little bakery truck or a big poster to boost the appeal of the truck. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a lot that I totally forgot happens in this game. So um, if you're as lost as I am, it might be really good to check out the previous episodes. This is why I ended up peeking at the wiki, but that just spoiled so many things for myself. So I need to be a little more cautious about that. But a panna cotta set, I'm actually really curious about because I know sometimes you have to buy like donut sets uh, and donuts are really popular right now hmm you know what let's go ahead and buy a donut set 
and we just spent the money on that so let's come over here and see if we can make another sweet creation yeah we've got the CP the creation points for creativity are what we need guys let's try to make another fantastic donut because they are oh so popular right now and we've got the donut set going on so I'm gonna use there we go then we don't have to use up the other toppings to create a new donut we've already got it right there so I wonder what if I put the almonds on first and then what if I come over here and add in wow look at the custard add in a lot of sweetness let's add in the custard I kind of go for things that are a little bit more uh, syrupy or like a little bit more fruity and and crunchy myself so that makes sense for me um, let's see what else it looks like it took down some of the texture actually for the poor custard okay what would how else could this be yummy all right so we've got custard we've got almonds let's add the choco drizzle and maybe that'll help things out a little bit look at that it seems to be helping out we're going up quite a bit and what about the choco extract oh that takes away i got it now i got it now all right if i added almonds it would kind of balance out let's add another choco drizzle double choco drizzle with um infused custard and a donut and a few almonds i don't even like sweet things and my mouth is watering so hopefully this will be somewhat delicious probably could have made it more delicious but i think it'll be okay we can boost the chocolate we can boost the taste we can boost the sweet we can boost the fruit uh, let's go ahead and boost the taste with John fondant he's one of my favorite employees we've had him for a long time close your eyes you are getting yummier and yummier and he's always just oh so eager to do his job I have missed this I love the Kairosoft games the rich drizzle donut let's have a tasting ses session and see how popular it will be with customers all right come on guys Okay, kind of the same across the board. Oh, the elders really like it. Wonderful. It's another solid D rank donut, but you know what? I'm pretty happy about that. That was worth that was worth trying out. And actually, a lot of the people in the past informed me that to have really awesome donuts and cakes and all of those things, if you're struggling trying out bonbon cakery yourself, upgrading the markets to higher levels is one of the most important things you can do. So I need to get the volume up on some of my food so that we can upgrade to level two for the local market. And that makes a lot of sense because if you want to make really delicious food, then you definitely need to make sure that you have really great ingredients. I know, especially in, um, at least what I've heard in Japanese cooking in particular, the emphasis on fantastic ingredients is super important. Like going out of your way to get really elite, highly specialized, high quality ingredients and then making a simple dish and then it just being like out of this world amazing because it was so fantastic. That has been something that I've seen again and again and again in like a lot of the, the, the cultural vlogs or a lot of the people I talked with. My sensei was very big on that when I took Japanese in high school too. What kind of quality everything was. She always ate like all organic and was very picky when we would go out in Japanese club uh, to restaurants. So there's a lot to be said for having a great place to source your food. And that said, we have a talking bear talking to us right now about constructing our shop. Didn't expect that tonight. Didn't expect that tonight. All right. Please use us from now on whenever you get any items that can be used in your shop's interior, which I didn't even know we could do, so I'm super excited about that. All right, Barrington Construction added. Uh, is that like, okay, oh my gosh. No, 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 I just wanna see Barrington Construction. Welcome, if you want to remodel your shop, you've come to the right place. Okay, this is cool. Those columns we got, <gasps> that's what they mean. So normal columns and then country columns, you guys, look at that. Well, I don't know if I want country columns, but now I know that we can go ahead and we can have different shutters, <gasps> different flower beds. Oh, that would be so exciting. We can change so much about our shop and I didn't even know it. That's fantastic. I'm gonna have to remember that for next time. All right, oh, look at the satisfaction. Oh, debt has leveled up. You'll see repeat customers. And then when you level them up for like how satisfied they are with your shop or just their overall enjoyment of the shop you run, then they'll start giving you more and more money, which is really fantastic. Yay, the velvety rings and the choco drizzle donut are selling. I'm so happy. 
And everybody likes the fluffy. Well, okay. So, oh, so close, but not quite what Art Barnes was wanting. Oh, he likes the berry velvet cake the most. Semi-sweet, velvety, and shortcake. And then this girl, oh, she likes ice cream. I love that ice cream too. And I think these are the presents you can either get from her or she's already given you. So yeah, there's a lot to this game. If you guys are wanting like a ridiculously in-depth tycoon game that is deceitfully, adorably, just pixelated cuteness, then that would be pretty much any of the Kairosoft games. And now I remember why I looked things up on the wiki because I kind of suck at this. Look at my profit. It's in the ground. But if you think about the fact I spent a bunch of money on the donuts, maybe that's not a bad thing. Maybe I'm actually doing better than I thought. Who knows? Who knows? We'll have to see. All right, so things are starting to shift up and not being quite as popular, but I had a lot of fun. Let's see, do I have enough CP to create? I do not have enough CP to create one final dessert, but that's probably for the best because it seems the donuts are still mildly popular. Uh, let's see, what is super popular right now? If I switch recipes, <gasps> the Hidden Silver Bells Vanilla Ice Cream, which actually won an award in the past, <gasps> and the Gentle Amandi Shortcake, one of my favorites. So we may actually have that coming out instead so it looks like donuts are out silver ice cream look at it isn't it beautiful I love those silver dots oh man I need to remember how to get those specialty things let's put the um, the whipped cream velvet cake up front it won an award and maybe if it's in the window that will make it sell a little bit better and then over here we're going to put in the hidden silver bell no 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 let's actually do the uh, da, da, da. The Gentle Amandi. Oh, that looks so good. Now I remember why I love this game. And I don't even like sweet stuff, you guys. And the Choco Drizzle did pretty good. I'm pretty proud of it. And then we'll have this Hidden Silver Bells ice cream go right next to the checkout. So there we go. Now we just have to get the uh, people in the kitchen really working super hard to get all of that out in time. But thank you guys so much for joining me. It is just the last few moments of my birthday night. And I've been doing so good having four videos out a day ever since I've really been back on the ball from our trip to Hawaii and I just thought about it and I wanted to share something special and different with you guys so here we are enjoying Bon Bon Cakery again and I'm remembering the way that it just uh, it just sets my heart at ease and it's just so cute and adorable and I miss the Kairosoft games and these little adorable pixel things so if you guys are interested in seeing a more random games like this or just more Bon Bon Cakery or the other Kairosofts or other things at random times then let me know because I really enjoy just popping into these and getting inspiration for all of our main series. It really helps me out and I hope it just gives you guys something a little different to enjoy too. After all, you never know if you want to, like me, try out maybe the delicious donut instead of uh, perhaps the simple cupcake that you usually have. Good to experience new taste. But I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for letting me enjoy this and I will see you all next time. Bye bye